Welcome to Frisbee. How hand visibility impacts throwing accuracy and experience in virtual reality. In prior work about skill-based sports in virtual environments, Harris et al. showed that VR games can be a valid reflection of the reality, while Zendulka et al. demonstrated the discrepancy between the real and virtual world, but throwing in VR shows significantly worse for accuracy and precision. Concerning the embodiment during sports in VR, Osmana and Al tested the impact of limb visualization on the climbing experience. Similarly, Bonfad et Al analyzed the influence of foot visibility on a kicking task. They found that the visible foot improved the precision of steps while climbing and the accuracy of the shot when kicking, while at the same time the sense of body ownership increased. But how does hand visibility affect a throwing task in VR? In our study, we asked the players to throw a virtual disc from 10 meters distance on a round bullseye target. Due to the between group design, only one group could see floating hands, while the other had invisible hands. The accuracy shows a significant difference, but only with a small effect size. In the dispersion pattern, we can observe a scattering along the horizontal axis. Regarding body presence, the category realism showed a significantly higher rate for the hands condition. For all other categories of body presence, we couldn't determine any different. The same applies to body ownership, where the results are borderline. Therefore, we cannot assess if body ownership is affected by hand visibility or not. For agency, we were able to show a significant difference also with a large effect size in favor of the hands condition. For age, gender or experience in VR, we could not find any differences between the two conditions. We were able to show that seeing virtual hands positively affect the sense of objective control as well as the feeling of realism. The accuracy only increased by a small amount and for body ownership we could not even confirm a positive influence by visible hands. Both results seem plausible to Gamet because it indicates that the focus while aiming lies more on the target than on the hands and the throw itself might rather be muscle memory than visual perception. The dispersion pattern showed results in line with the finding of Sintulka et al. that release timing is crucial for the outcome of the throw, but is a challenging thing to do. Future studies may focus not only on the first two sets of throws, but on long-term practice to investigate training effects. Additionally, the usage of haptic feedback gloves instead of controllers could enhance the performance of throwing tasks immensely. Thank you for your time. For more information, please refer to our paper. Also, you can find our implementation on GitHub.